I've obviously got room here. Two, three, four. Okay. Six, seven, eight, nine. I got nine steps back this way. And then. I've got all this room here so I could actually park another one of these in my spot if I wanted to have two. How about that trash? Okay, here's my coach, my 1978 GMC Royale. Okay, any bees down here? I don't think so. And the bees are all disappearing. All right, here's my black tank. Got a hole there. I got skid wheels here that I don't really think they turn. Here's a skid wheel that needs to have something done with it. Here's another skid wheel. It's all mashed up. It's more of a... Yeah, it's got a big flat spot right here. It just drags. Looks like there used to be an outlet there before this skid plate got knocked up and took everything out, probably. some wires back there dragging what are those there's my there's my gray tank pipe <clears throat> these wires here be Okay, you are not building a nest in my GMC. Go away. Right. Anyway. I assume those have something to do with the generator. But, uh, these wires here. Right there. Sparked. Uh, as I was moving them around. So, I don't know what that's about. I don't think there's a battery in here anywhere. In the back. Um, if I have a problem, somebody let me know. Here's my, some kind of a, here's my plug-in, I guess. Electrical cord. And, I don't know what that socket is right there. It's obviously an electrical socket, but I don't know what it's for. Maybe that's where the generator plugs into? But I would expect the generator to plug into these wires here to deliver power to the coach. Somebody let me know. Somebody let me know. This is awesome. I'm looking through the paperwork. <laughs> Dusty in here. I've got uh, registrations, and the previous owner has the same initials I do. Uh, R E H. Um, and I've got a ton of maintenance records, and of course there's the manual. Here's the service bulletins, and inside I found this folder. Uh, airbag, it looks like most a ton of stuff was replaced in 97 and 98. Um, two front tires, four rear tires are like 97, 98. Uh, the, both front wheel bearings and ball joints in April of 98. Uh, AC come compressor repair May 98 all belts and hoses April 98 front end alignment and something else here so uh, I guess I'm in fairly good shape it probably didn't I wonder how many miles it went since 97 98 uh, it didn't go too far because 
the latest maintenance records and registration I see is like in 2000, 2001. So, uh, I might be kind of well off here. Going through the glove box. Here's a handy piece of information. It's a Sam's Club receipt for uh, a bunch of new tires. Um, how many? How many new tires? Uh, number one, two, three, four. I guess four tires. And the it was my odometer is seventy two thousand eight hundred eighty two miles. Call it seventy three thousand miles. This is dated eleven twenty five ninety six. The odometer shows. 74.6 so I've only got a one or two thousand miles uh, on my tires of course I've got you know uh, 10 or 12 years no more than that let's see 96 2006 2010 uh, 15 a lot it's hot in here I can't add when it's hot but anyway so not a lot of miles uh, since some fairly major work has been done on this vehicle. Uh, it, even if the tires are dry rotted, at least I know that those bearings and front end knuckles and such like that are probably in good shape. I appear to have a hole here. Or a... It's either a hole or a light or a vent or something. I think that, that might go all the way through. <sighs> oh shit! Oh! Yeah! Right there. I think I need something over that. Well, as long as I'm up here, can I walk on this? I assume so. Ah, rusted. Please don't be bees in here. Like, uh, okay, it looks like there were lawn chairs in here. It's a big yellow piece of plastic. Could this be some kind of cover? No, I think it's all right. That's okay. Here's my TV antenna. Alright, let's see if I can get down without killing myself. I wish I had something to put over that. Don't want to die, don't want to die, don't want to die. How about that? Well, here's what I found. Early version of Google Maps. The uh, owner's manual for the actual vehicle. Motorhome operating manual. Uh, manuals for things like the antennas and microwaves and ovens and stuff like that. Owning manual that for the owning I don't have, air conditioner manual, my uh, bunch of service bulletins and stuff, uh, food processor manual for my little food processor here, which I'll never use. 
and a book, How to Keep Bees and Sell Honey, by somebody. No name. Ah, I must know who wrote it. By Walter T. Kelly. So, Mr. Kelly, I guess I've got a book here. So this is cool. Yep. It's interesting the things you find in these old motorhomes.